हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स सो हियर आई एम वंस अगेन विथ ऑल ऑफ यू गिविंग यू वन मोर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू सिंप्लीफाई सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स विच सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव बीन फेसिंग फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स दैट इज हाउ टू एड एंड अट्रैक्ट रैशनल नंबर्स मेंटली यस they follow the traditional methods of finding the lcm and lcm the least or the lowest common multiple that is the base of everything if you are good in finding the lcm of numbers in your mind here then everything will be easy so i will start with a very basic question would you be able to do 13 upon 50 let's say 65 okay i'll take a big number 65 and minus 7 upon 52 orally will you do that and i think one out of 100 will say yes yes i will rest 99 will be like what <laughs> so i guarantee you after watching the entire video you will be able to solve this question i'll come back to this question at the end of the video okay and i'll show you how this can be done mentally if you are very good in calculation of the lcm so let's get on with the video and if you have not subscribed the channel till now please do it here's the subscribe button just click that and do share this video with all your friends so that they can also enjoy this amazing trick which hasn't been put on youtube before and the 15 minutes are going to change your life i bet right friends so let's see first what do we have see these are these are special tricks to find the lcm quickly and accurately and then we will be applying those tricks in adding and subtracting the rational numbers as big as this okay friends so the first thing is you should be really clear in your mind you know what is lcm now more often than not so many students don't know what they are doing and they do that prime factorization with the uh, teachers teach them at school level no and they they are following something without knowing that exactly and so the meaning of lcm is really important half the problems will be solved if you know the meaning okay so i'll start with the meaning very basic thing and then slowly i'll build on the session you have to be with me for the entire 15 minutes okay so suppose i take numbers like 6 and let's take uh, 8 okay i'm taking very easy examples now first thing is in lcm i'll not write here this i'll come back later here okay so in lcm what is the meaning of m m means multiples right so when you take multiples of 6 6 12 18 24 30 uh, 36 and then 42 and 48 and so on you can keep on writing 8 16 24 and then we have 32 then we have 40 48 and so on we can keep on writing so there are so many multiples of every number right now what is c c means common and common means which exists in both so which are the multiples which are coming in both 6 and 8 multiples oh uh, i can see a 24 here which is a cm the common multiple and then we have a 48 here and likewise you will have many more so these are all cms the common multiples and what do you mean by l l means the lowest or the least so out of so many common multiples which one is the smallest one the smallest one is 24 and therefore the lcm of 6 and 8 is 24 now that is the meaning of lcm now once you understand this concept you know you will never be confused between the concept of hcf and the concept of lcm always remember friends now this is take home message you have to put it in your pocket and move off okay so what confusion do you have in hcf and lcm it's pretty clear there the words the meanings themselves convey the factors are always equal to or less than the numbers 6 and 8 if i talk about factors of 6 and 8 they are not going to be more than 6 and 8 right so the hcf is always less than the numbers or equal to the number okay but if you talk about lcm multiples multiples are never going to be less than the numbers it will be always either the number or more than the number very easy and just just imagine you know a person getting confused in these concepts come on you have not learned mathematics you have crammed math math mathematics then right so once this concept is clear i think we can 
work on finding the LCM. But what about big numbers? Now that's where the problem is. And the problem will be resolved very, very, very quickly if you have very good observation. Now, what does observation mean? I mean, you know, you can observe numbers and tell what is their LCM. Now, for this, I will be categorizing the numbers into two or three different types. Okay. The first one, you should know the meaning of co-prime numbers. The co-prime numbers are the numbers which do not have any common factor except one. Just like if I take the example of 8 and 15. Can you tell me a common factor uh, of 8 and 15? A number which divides both 8 and 15? You will say 1, right? And that's the only answer we can give for a co-prime number. The common factor of these numbers, the co-prime numbers is always 1. And whenever we have co-prime numbers, their multiple, the common multiple of the co-prime numbers is always their product 8 times 15 which is 120. So as soon as you observe, what is important, observe that the numbers are co-prime, they don't have a common factor, we know their LCM, it is just their product. 8 times 15, 120 is the LCM. Likewise, if I take some more examples of co-prime numbers like 7 and 8, how about 7 and 8? Can you tell me the LCM of 7 and 8 now? Very easy, they are co-prime 7 times 8, the LCM is what? 56. Likewise, if I take more examples like suppose 4 and 15, you don't have to find the LCM, right? So LCM is just the product 4 times 15, no common factor between them and that is their LCM. So you can go on and on and take so many different examples. If you have a prime number like 13 and any other composite number which doesn't uh, is not divisible by 13, then the LCM is 1 only, right? 13 doesn't divide 48 and 13 is a prime number. So they are not going to have a common factor. So the LCM is going to be what? 13 times 48. And I think you can multiply that and tell me the answer yourself. Okay, so I'll leave it as a DIY. I don't want to get into multiplications. Okay, so post your comments here. What is the LCM of 13 and 48? <laughs> right, so this is about co prime numbers. Now, what happens when the numbers are not co prime? Then let's take a second case where we have multiples. We have multiples of a number. Like, suppose I take the example of finding the LCM of 13 and 39. Come on, we don't need to find the LCM here, right? Why? Because 13 multiples has 39 also, right? 13 threes are 39 and so the LCM is going to be the larger one, the larger number. So whenever the smaller one divides the larger one, don't find the LCM. Just write the larger one as the LCM, right? So, so many different LCM. Uh, let's take 10, 40 and 160. What is their LCM? Oh my God, if you are using the traditional approach here, badly, badly, uh, you know, you need some help. Okay, so 10 divides 160, 40 also divides 160. Forget the smaller ones, just the bigger one, that is the LCM. Whenever you have multiples, this rule works. But you may have a mixture also. And you may have numbers where uh, the HCF is something else, not one, right? We will take everything, friends. Don't worry. Everything. Okay. So, let's take uh, an example where we have a mixture of such numbers. Mixture of such numbers. Let's take the example of the first one is say 4, 7 and 12. How about this? For these three numbers, I can cancel 4. Can you tell me why? I just not told you that whenever you have a number which divides some other number in the given question, forget the smaller one, okay? Just take the bigger one. And now 7 and 12 are co-prime because they are, they don't have a common factor between them or the HCF is 1. And so the LCM of all the three numbers will be 12 times 7 which is 84. See? Observation. So your observation has to be really good. When you observe the numbers, what comes in your mind for the first time, that is important. And likewise, I can go on and on and take so many examples. Let's take 
40, 60, 180. How about this? How about this? Now watch. Oh, 60 and 180. 60 divides 180, right? So forget 60. Now 40 doesn't divide 180. Now there is a problem. So I'll go to the next slide. 40 and 180. What to do with these numbers? Now I'll, I'll come to the next method for these numbers. That is called the HCF method. Now when you know the highest common factor of numbers, then the LCM also is known. Watch. Don't you think these two are divisible by 20? Right? So highest common factor of these two numbers is pretty easily identifiable and that number is 20. And now you can find the LCM using two different approaches. One of the approaches is just write the product of numbers and divide it by the HCF. So 20 cancels this two times and 180 into 2, 360 is the LCM. Now there is one more approach which you can follow. See the second approach. 40 and 180. I know that the highest common factor is 20. If you divide this by 20, you get 2. If you divide this by 20, you get 9. Now either multiply like this or multiply like this, you will get the LCM as same thing. 360. See? Two different approaches. Now doesn't that complete the topic of LCM? I mean you don't have any other kind of numbers for which you are yet to find out a way to find the LCM. You have only these kind of numbers, right? So can we take more examples? Uh, let's take 28 and 34. How about 28 and 34? So I can see that we have a common factor, what? 2? I don't think any other common factor is there. So if I divide this by 2, I get 14. If I divide this by 2, I get 17. Now either do this time this or this, this time this, you will get the LCM. Correct? Now, which one is easier for you? I think 14 times table is easier for me. So LCM will be, see this is observation. I don't have to put all these circles and arrows to find the LCM, right? I'll just multiply 34 by 14 and get my answer. 14, 4 times is 56, 6, 5 carry, 14, 3 times is 42 plus 5, 47, 476 is the LCM of 28 and 34. Isn't that easy? Let, let me give you a DIY. DIY. Do it yourself, okay? So you got to post your comments here. And mind you, one more slide is coming up in which I'll use this method to add and subtract rationals. That is the surprise of the day, okay? So watch. So DIY question. You need to tell me 42 and 203. Use this method, the HCF method, to find the LCM of 42 and 203 and post here in the comment box below from 1. I want the time also within which you could crack this question, okay? So, now come to the use of the trick in adding and subtracting national numbers. Now you know, I think everything. You know how to find the LCM using observation, co-prime numbers, using uh, the multiples, I think everything, right? Once you are good in that, you don't even require LCM to add and subtract rational numbers. Yes, I mean it. Let's see how. So the first example, for demonstration sake, I'm taking 8 upon 15 and I'll add 11 upon 20 to that, okay? Now see, 15 and 20, the most of the students will be, you know, 15 and 20, let's find the LCM using that approach which, which was taught in uh, junior classes. And for me, you know, if you are smart, you are not going to do all that. If you want to compete with the best minds and be among top 1% people who do these questions in their mind, you need to do this. What? Watch. 15 and 20, I know that they are divisible by 5 when nothing more than 5. So 5... If I divide this by 5, I get 3. If I divide this by 5, I get 4. Correct? Now, cross multiply. 8 times 4 is 32. What's the magic? 11 times 3 is 33. And finally, between these 4 numbers, if you cross multiply like this or like this, you are going to get the same number. See? 60, 60. And so 60 forms the denominator, which gives me what? 65 upon 60. If you reduce it to lowest form, it is 13 upon 12, which is the correct answer for this particular addition problem. See, things are not difficult. 
things are you know we make it complicated by following the, uh, methods which uh, you don't we should not use at competitive level and that's what you know separates the genius from the average so friends let's take one more example maybe two more examples and then i'll go back to the question which i gave you initially okay let's take uh, 7 upon 150 plus see the numbers 150 okay and uh, let's take another prime here 19 upon 180 wow look at the numbers somebody will be like oh let's find the lcm i won't find the lcm 150 and 180 10 is a obvious common factor right but 15 and 18 has 3 also so 30 30 is the highest common factor so if you divide this by 30 you get 5 this by 30 you get 6 now that's where smartness is if you get through this step done let's see 7 times 6 42 19 times 5 95 and in the denominator what did i tell you either this or this 150 into 6 is 900 so 900 is the denominator and that gives you 137 over 900 as the sum of these two rational numbers see is that is that difficult friends tell me which thing is difficult you can even add three four rational numbers like this okay another one let's take a subtraction problem say i have uh, 48 over 77 and 17 over 99 okay well finding lcm is so difficult here but Doing this question is not at all difficult. 11, very easy. 11, 7 times, 11, 9 times. So 48 times 9. 9 8s are 72. So we have a 2 here. And a 7, 9 4s are 36. And 7 is 43. And then minus 17 times 7, we all should know is 119. And divide that by either multiply like this or like this. So you can do anything. 7 9s are 63, 6, 63, and 6, 69. There we go. And the difference between 432 and 119 is 313. 313 over 693 happens to be the correct answer for this subtraction problem. Oof. What? Where is the difficulty, man? Where is the difficulty? There is no difficulty at all. It's in the mind. So, DIY. Another DIY question for you. And then I'll go back to the first question which I posed up, you know, in the beginning of the video. I told you I'll come back to that. Okay? DIY, your turn. Okay, so you need to tell me seven over eighteen minus. So I'm giving you a subtraction problem. Okay, and let's take a thirty here, and in the numerator let's take a five. Uh, five will be too easy. One upon thirty. Okay, <laughs> so not difficult. See, I've given you a problem which you can handle easily. So post your comments in the comment box here. Did you get the correct answer? Did you enjoy the video? And if you did. Let's go back to the first question which I posed. 13 upon 65 minus 7 upon 52. Oh my god. I gave something which is divisible. 13 and 65. 13 divide 65. So this is actually 1 upon 5. And now 52 and 5 are co-prime. And whenever we have co-prime numbers, their product is their LCM. So 5 times 52 is their LCM. And then cross multiply 1 times 52 is 52 minus 7 times 5 is 35 thereby the answer for the question 17 over 52 times 5 520 half 260 and there we go everywhere mental maths is everywhere friends everywhere and that's what makes everybody smarter so friends learn this amazing amazing you know uh, way of calculation of LCM and applying it to add and subtract the rational numbers. And if you like this video, do share it with all your friends on your social media. Let's publicize the channel so that more and more students can be benefited out of these amazing mathematics tricks. Do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications. Thanks for watching this video and all the best for your practice.